Hey guys, so today I went out to get myself a, a tripod so I can talk with you guys face to face. Yeah! And uh, lo and behold, what did I find? At the front gate or the front door? But another box from dailies oh my gosh this is like um part two from today's order so instead of coming together they came separately so that was a nice that was a a double surprise today one in the morning and uh one this afternoon when i um got home from the uh camera store And by the way, this is not a joke. I really did. I really did get two boxes today, which does seem a little extreme. Remember, extreme is how I roll in um, in almost everything I do. So let's take a look inside and see what came in um, this second dailies box. It's another big one, and this one is really heavy. It weighs at least 10 kilos, at least 20 to 25 pounds. I just love the way they package their goods. Simple, but very efficient and effective. So we've got the wet newspapers to keep it moist all the way from um, Brisbane. It flew one it flew in from Brisbane this morning. And because this is um extra heavy, I didn't want to drag it out. So I cut the box uh, lengthwise so I can just lift it up. Much safer than dragging and pulling. Alright, too easy. It's all um taped together so it ain't going anywhere I'm loving the weather we're having today a continuation of this week's tropical run between 23 and um, 33 love it finally finally we're getting Queensland weather in Melbourne it takes until um, November. It's a long wait, guys. That means we've lost two critical months, the months of September and October, when the mangoes are already fruiting up north. And here, we're still sitting around waiting, 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 losing time. The first item are uh, grow bags. I've never had these before. So we're gonna be trying grow bags in place of pots plastic I've heard good things about these grow bags right 25 liters and uh, I'm gonna be experimenting with them all right let's move to the trees next so here we are guys, there's the um, part two of today's um, delivery and I bet you're all itchy to know what's here. I sure would be. Can you recognize the leaves? I'm teasing you now. So go click 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 and move the video along right? Come on guys, admire the beauty. It's like looking at a beautiful woman and you click 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 to get to the action right admire her beauty before before the action that's how these tropical um, plants are for us um, well addicts all right let's start oh by the way uh, these aren't all tropical yep a couple of them are not tropical they're um, temperate I had to get them though because 
They're very rare. Well, one of them is rare, not, not the other one. Let's start with the non-tropicals. And it's this one. Yeah, it looks tropical, doesn't it? Looks tropical. This is um, one of Japan's famous trees, fruit trees. That should be a, a big clue from Japan. <laughs> right? Known as... Um, um, gee, I forgot the name now in Japanese. Gaki. Is that enough clue? Japanese gaki. Yeah, well, in English, we just call it um, by that word there, persimmon. And this variety here, I've never heard of before. Never seen it before, so I had to get it. Apparently, it's um, very sweet. I like the words very sweet. Because um, the gyro and fuyu that I have, they're sweet, but they're not very sweet. So, this was a must. Don't forget to read the instructions, what to do. Another brilliant job by Dailies, by the way. And no, I'm not affiliated with them. I just like to give a thumbs up where it's um, due. And here is another persimmon, my favorite of all, the Hachiya. This is uh, astringent, right? Every other persimmon I have is uh, non-astringent. I've already had two of these and I killed them both. Why do you think that is? How can you kill a persimmon? Well, the way I killed the, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I killed five, maybe six persimmons in the last five, six years. The way to do that is, the way I did it was to leave them in pots. Yeah, water logging, root rot. That's how I killed them. So with these ones, they're not going to stay in pots. They're going to go in the ground ASAP. How silly of me. I've killed some real beauties. Some real rare, very expensive, like over two meters in height. Persimmons. Because I left them in the pot for 12 months. Bad idea. I know that Brett in the UK grows all these persimmons and figs and the rest of it in... in um, in um, pots well he evidently is using better um, drainage medium than I have been he's probably using what nurseries use a good mix of um, perlite and a good mix of uh, um, well the right mixture of soil and perlite to avoid uh, root rot which I never did so guys they're the first two trees and the rest now are tropical let's go this way here I had one of these last summer and I lost it in the greenhouse I lost it right at the end of winter but I'm not giving up I'm not giving up on this guy because his um, his brother is still alive I showed him to you the other day <laughs> but this one didn't make it last time the Rossapodi the canistel seedling I have made it through winter but this one died so I take two on the uh, Rossapodi not giving up here this is um, probably the most special of all the trees I have to, in this group because he's fruiting look at that or he, uh, at least he's flowering I should say do you recognize what these are Marcus Barkas should recognize them. Who else recognizes these flower buds? I've never seen flower buds before from my <sighs> Sapodia. I've got a few of them. And this one is the Sawo Manila, a Filipino variety. 
some extra excited with this one I have to be very very careful to keep him well not alive keeping him alive is easy but keeping him happy happy means this this is what happy means see that happy means getting fruit not just keeping him alive that's not gonna get us fruit alive and happy so I'm ex <laughs> did I say I'm extra happy yeah I'm extra excited with this next we go up here to this guy up here we've got some real beauties today guys some real beauties I forgot what this is I have to look ah this is um, one of two lychees the, this is the Salatil right I'm really putting a lot of effort into um, getting lychees going so now how many do I have this is lychee number three I've already got two before these um, arrived so this is number three and here this one is lychee number four see how it has a little leaf damage like my lychee had yesterday when I showed you now I was asked in the comments is that sun damage or is that cold damage what do you guys think to me it looks like sun damage remember this came from the subtropics so it can't be cold damage right there's no cold there in spring so what do you reckon see more there but I'm not gonna you know blame dailies for this I probably had it out in the hot Sun on a hot day remember it's been hot up there since September okay this variety is they say the best variety of lychee Waichi. so that's number four so these two and the other two I already have and next is where are we oh the last one the last um, tree is this one here you should recognize this the leaves are very obvious to the trained addict <laughs> beautiful you should know what this is jackfruit so that's my second grafted jackfruit it's one from a place called Duranba Duranba is near Dailies it's actually from a place called tropical fruit world which is near the Gold Coast so that's their particular special um, variety named after them and uh, I'm looking forward to visiting tropical fruit world actually next time we're up there and that's it that's um, the second group of trees that I got today from dailies don't be too jealous guys be happy I'm usually very happy for friends who that receive gifts because I know they're happy and them being happy makes me happy and by the way <laughs> dailies is still um, um, open for you to order don't worry I didn't buy their um, their whole inventory I had a look today and there's a lot of stuff on there lots I'm not here to um, how shall I say pimp their business but I'm just saying what what um, needs to be said I'm very happy with their trees look at this come on what nursery is going to give you a, a sapodilla with um, flowers already on the tree and possibly fruit coming huh why wouldn't I 
give them a special thumbs up. You would too, if you were me. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna show you the price list because um, you'll, uh, what's it called? If I can get it, your, your, your um, eyes will tear. So I'm not gonna bother showing you that. It's quite a bit of money spent today on um, seven trees here and seven in the morning. That's 14, you do the math. 14 tropical fruit trees. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, well, put a like if you did. Please um, put your comments in regarding these uh, varieties that I got. If you're familiar with them, if you have any tips. Thanks for the tips, by the way, from some of you. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I also want you guys to share the channel with others so they can also join the, join the club. All right, guys. See you from the next video.